Okay, so you know how I'm getting guinea pigs, chip and dip, and the cage was supposed to be on Friday, so it was the fleece liner. It came early. Ooh, I'm so excited. It's already fully assembled. I thought I'd be able to fit all three of those hides, the cardboard ones, but I wasn't able to. Oh, uh, you can see the log, the liner there, water, hay feeder, but really quick, I just realized, um... The, the cage door is on that side, so I'm going to have to flip it around real quick. Okay, so I just flipped it around, and I'm going to show you the door real quick. So this is... Okay, this is where it slides. This is the door. It's kind of hard to open. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm going to... I can't open it with one. There we go. So the door... is now open. It's pretty cool. Ugh, hold on. I gotta... I gotta hand too. So I have to just... There we go. Hold on. I gotta... I gotta fix the water bottle real quick. Everywhere. I don't want it to drip everywhere, but it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> so, anyway, yeah, the hay feeder is now on the outside, which I didn't want because I wanted to be able to access the water bottle a bit easier, but I don't want to have to disassemble the entire thing just to put this wall on the other side, so it's better to just rotate the whole thing. But anyway, so. So let me fit tour. So, um, right there is a little hide that's connected to these stairs. They go up to a bowl, an anti-spill bowl, because there's a bowl outline thing underneath, so you just can't tip it or anything. You can spin it, but you can't tip it. Um. I'm worried the guinea pigs just aren't going to like going up those stairs, because those just don't look comfortable to go up. They're way too steep. But we'll see. I'm probably going to put pellets in this bowl. Obviously, I'm not going to fill it all the way, because if I fill it all the way, oh, if I fill it all the way, um, they're going to overeat. They should not have that many pellets. A good amount of pellets is like to the point where you can't see the bottom, but you... Um, there's only one layer of pellets, so it's like, it's basically like, you know how if you put one piece of paper like this on the floor, and this paper it was all just shredded up, and I put my finger here, I could touch the floor instantly, but it's still, you can't see the floor. That's what you have to do with pellets, I've learned, um, so I might be misinformed, but I don't know, um, and I'm hoping that's true. Because that's what I'm going to do. But they're probably going to eat all the pellets instantly. Whatever. Uh, the water bottle is... Uh, I feel like um, it, it doesn't go low enough is my problem. Like, I just feel like it's a little high for the guinea pigs to reach. Uh, no, they could, they could reach that. I just don't... Most water bottles wouldn't be at such, like... A 90 degree angle they're more usually like 45 degrees so i just don't like how that's you know 90 degrees it's like more 90 than 45 45 is like there's a line here and then a line here and then 90 if you're dumb is just this line here line here ah uh, anyway it's just it's really annoying but Whatever. I'll have to deal with it. I'll just have to deal with it. Or, sorry. The guinea pigs will have to deal with it. Oh, I never showed you guys how to open the cage. To open the cage, you have to twist two on this same side to open one part of the cage. Because you'll see there's two parts that open up instead of just being connected. Sorry, I had to... You saw me just trying to find it, because when I'm on the video, I'm trying to lock, 
watch the video to see if it's lined up right. Um, so it's just kind of harder to re get things, but anyway, here's the second side. This is probably for refilling that, taking the fleece out, and stuff like that. This one could be for, and both of them could be for, like, taking that one out. So, the reason I'm not just throwing away the extra boxes, box plate things I have is... If the guinea pigs start chewing on this this one, I have replacements. But this side could be for the pellets, also for that. You know? So. So, anyway. Is my guinea pig page... Can, fuck, fuck, I can't freaking speak. Um, that is my guinea page... Pig, hmm. Guinea pig cage... Tour. Uh, sorry, I, my brain is just killing itself. But, that's it. That is the cage. That is everything. That is the cage. Yeah, I don't know. That's where Chip and Dip are going to live for the next seven years of their life because they're about both one but they're technically adults because they're one i'm just gonna end the video because i'm i'm being stupid bye